peek a boo. Fucking Tina waving at me in the distance. How dare she? All right, <clears throat> I'm just setting up. Hi everyone. I hope the title is self-evident because I want to get into this game as quickly as possible. I have no character yet because I haven't made one. Like I said, this is the first impression series. So I haven't done anything yet. Should be enough just to make sure it doesn't should be enough. Sounds Hmm Acceleration. And I'm using controller. Tense, balanced, relaxed, let's do balanced. Vertical position, lowered, centered. Say player. Display of legendary IDS. Never can social accessibility. Hmm. All right, that seems about it. All right, so. Basically, welcome to Tiny, Tina, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Uh, this is almost Borderlands 4. It's like the Borderlands 2 DLC, but given in its entire game. I, I really like Dungeons and Dragons. I play it often. And I really like Borderlands. So, I never did get to play the Borderlands 2 DLC, Assault on Dragon Keep. But... Since this is its own game, I figure it could be pretty fun. New character. Co-opetition. Th oh, this was a thing in Borderlands 3. Good, good thing it's back. Uh, I... Let's put on cooperation for when I do eventually get friends to play with me. I don't know how long this stream is going to be, because the dude just kind of want to play the game. The borderlands. A world forged by wonder and ruled by fate. The battle between these powers has raged since the beginning. Evil and good. Villains and heroes. A vicious cycle endlessly repeated. Wonder is the power of a cruel, unpredictable god. But fate, there's one alone who can wield fate. One alone whose story is in their own hands. The Fate Maker. That's you. Heavy, right? Fate Maker. Big responsibility. Honestly, I wouldn't even blame you if you just laid down in a puddle and gave up. Nah, <clears throat> I've had no fun but yet. If not, if you try and prove yourself as fate maker, sure, why not? Then heed the warning I give all heroes. Okay. Together you fight. Together you shall fall. Uh, ha! Oh, shut up. Ah! Oh, yeah. Same. <sighs> it's going real good over here. Blade wise, we're coming for you, Dragon Lord. 
His voice sounds familiar. <laughs> Your party of heroes can't stop me. Already I... Wow, you guys got here fast. Like you said, we're the heroes. I am Valentine, gallant adventurer. The scary stabby one is Fred. What Hello. about that one? That's the movie. It's their first adventure. Oh, come on. Their figure isn't even fully painted. Enough talk. We're here to stop you from taking the soul energy. Fools! I've already absorbed all of the soul energy. I'm invincible! We'll see about that. Oh, man. Sorry, newbie. We missed the soul energy. That's fine. Cattle will burn. Babies will cry. More than usual. My skeleton armies will wash over the land. <laughs> Looking bad. How do we win this? We attack together. Couldn't have thought of a better plan. Pathetic. Especially you, newbie. Hey. They don't make heroes like they used to. Time to Damn die. right they don't. But then, just as the heroes lose hope, they hear... A nay? Yeah. And also like, you know, the sparkly rainbow, which goes like, quickle, quick 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 It is Queen Buttstack. Oh no. The most beautiful and perfect and ruler in all the land. Thank God. Hold on. What game are we playing here? We're playing Bunkers and Badasses, baby! And I, Tiny Tina, am the Bunker Master. So what I say goes! And I say there's a magical diamond vine accord named Butt Stallion who saves the day! Oh. I was kind of hoping we would save the day. You will, Valley Girl. I just gotta set the stakes. Now, let's table talk. Cue Dragon Lord! But Stallion, you may be the most beautifulest, perfectest ruler in all the land, but this time, I won! But, but Stallion was wielding the coolest sword in the whole world? The Sword of Zoom! Oh, for goodness, he came with that. Thank goodness. Oh, would you? I just made those skeletons. No! No! <laughs> Walking in a D20. I curse you, Fret! And most of all, I curse you, newbie! Whatever your name is, I will return and finally rid this world of heroes! And with that, the Dragon Lord was defeated. Cool, they level up. Explosion complete! Who's ready to rickety role play? Yeah, might as well. I feel like we started in Act 3, though. totally jumped out at our ship. <laughs> yeah, he crashed it. I'm in. I love bunkers and badasses. I've already got a level 40 character. Now, now, now. We level are making 40. all new characters. This is the newbie's first game, and I'm gonna make sure it's an adventure they'll never forget. You ready, newbie? Time for character sheets, baby! Thanks. All right. This is where we literally make our character. It's an actual <laughs> character sheet. I like that. All right, so I know some of the classes already because YouTube spoiled it for me. Uh, I know about the Stabomancer. Uh, Fate Maker's critical hit chance is increased. Great for, you know, stabbing. Ghost Blade. The Fate Maker throws out a Ghost Blade, which spins into place dealing melee damage to nearby enemies. While pressing RB while Ghost Blade is active, it teleports... Cause it to teleport to the targeted location. Okay. Uh, the Fate Maker enters Stealth, turning invisible. While in Stealth, all damage dealt is automatically a critical hit. Alright, not bad. Clawbringer. Oh, so that's what it looked like, uh, invisible. 
Very nice. Wyvern Companion. For me personally, I usually like to go with the semi-tank DPS build. Uh, with a little bit of healing. I'm usually a jack of all trades. My Overwatch friends can attest to that. I, I like to do whatever's most useful for everyone else. I just like being useful. Or having fun. Or both. Usually, usually I have fun by being useful. So... Uh, I do tend to like being a tank, because I have a very reckless, aggressive type personality playstyle. The Clawbringer is in the accompanied, it's accompanied by a wyvern uh, that flies through the environment and attacks enemies with its claws and fire. Okay, so kind of like the Beastmaster for Borderlands 3. Uh, Cleansing Flames, the Fate Mac. The Fate Maker summons that their hammer and, and slams it into the ground, dealing melee damage and creating a massive fire nova, dealing fire ability damage to nearby enemies. I would get that. I would. I do like that, but I feel like it's too similar to how I just played Borderlands 3. I didn't stream it, but I did just finish Borderlands 3 and I played the Siren, and I kind of used that ability all over. I don't want to. I don't want to do what I already did. Storm Dragon's Judgment. The, the Fate Maker summons their hammer and hurls it, dealing lightning damage to all enemies that touches. It sticks wherever it lands and deals lightning ability damage. Pressing RB recalls a hammer. Spell Shot. Ooh. Uh, spell Weaving. Casting a spell or reloading grants the Fate Maker a stack of spell weaving, increasing spell damage. Spell Weaving stacks automatically. Spe spell Weaving attacks automatically decay after a few seconds. Polymorph. The Fate Maker magically turns an enemy into a harmless skeep for a few seconds. Uh, Ambihextrous. The Fate Maker may equip a second spell in their inventory. Whenever the Fate Maker presses RB, they cast that spell. Graveborn. Ooh, edgy. I like it. Demi Lich Companion. The Fate Maker is accompanied by a Demi Lich Companion. Targets enemies and range deals dark magic. The Fate Maker sacrifices a portion of their health to deal dark magic ability damage and apply dark magic status. The Fate Maker is fully healed, gains increased uh, Reaper Bones. Uh, the Fate Maker is fully healed, gains increased le leech efficiency, and deals bonus damage, but their health takes an ever increasing amount of damage per second. When the Fate Maker would die, they instead become invulnerable for a short duration. Alright, so kind of like a vampire lich necromancer kind of vibe. I like it. Spore Warden. The Fate Maker is accompanied by a mushroom companion that deals targets nearby enemies and deals poison damage. Barrage. The Fate Maker summons an ethereal bow, firing seven arrows that deal ability damage on their impact. Arrows ricochet. So Hanzo a little bit. Uh, Blizzard. The Fate Maker creates three frost cyclones for a druid. Okay, so kind of like a druid. An archer druid. Berserker. Uh, Age of the Ancients. An action skill start that the Fate Maker becomes enraged. Being enraged adds bonus frost damage to their attacks. The Fate Maker spins, slashing anything nearby with their melee weapon, and essentially becomes a pain tornado. Love that. The Fate Maker leaps towards their target, dealing frost ability damage. Alright, so, um, basically, dexterity DPS. And then we're back to Stabo Master. I don't know. Alright, so this is kind of like the, like, ghostly assassin. This is the, uh, this is the tank. This is a mage. This is a necromancer. This is a druid. This is a, uh, a, a barbarian, honestly. I don't know. It's between Clawbringer, Spellshot, and Graveborn. Constantly casting spells, fire and lightning damage. Fungal Friend with focus on range damage. Angry Smasher with focus on frost. Sneaky Murderer with focus on critical hits. So a, dr so a dragon knight, a spell assassin, a, a mage, a, a 
vampire, a druid, and a frosty barbarian. Hmm, it's so hard. May equip a second spell in their inventory. What kind of spell, though? I do kind of like just having a melee weapon just on me. But I'm sure I can find those out in the world because I did add melee weapons. I think I'm going to go with the... I don't know. It's it's hard. I'm having I'm having a bit of a crisis. Do I want the Dragon Knight? Do I want the Mage? Do I want the Edgy Mage? Do I want the Druid Archer? Barbarian. Ah! I'm probably going to be playing this game a bunch. the only time where character selection takes a long time for me. Berserker and Graveborn. Let's, let's do Graveborn, why not? <sighs> Alright, we did it. Body and personality. This one, that one, this one, that one. <laughs> Body size. Make him super tall. Or super tiny. And he's not that tiny. Put him right in the middle. Head size. I feel like it would probably make. Oh yeah, I've got the goods. <laughs> now this is the look of a hero. I'm at a loss for words at my. Oh yeah, I definitely made the right choice. What have we here? I could do with a change. Something has to change. I must evolve yet again. Ha! Justice is always in fashion. Ha. Magn... <laughs> I make heroism look good. Ha! Justice is always in fashion. Ha. What if I turn it lower? Ha ha! Now this is the look of a hero. How's this? That was a rhetorical question. What suit? What have we here? What? I'm vain. Get over it. I could do with a change. Even the fearsome get gussied up every now and then. Pronouns. Okay. I don't. I don't care too much about that. Let's be. Let's just be an edgy kind of guy. Why not? Continue. I don't care about the face too much. Face decoration? What? Ah! Damn, he's all gray and shit. Can 
Can I give him like an actual uh <laughs> like skin tone? Can I like I I just want to <laughs> I want to make his eyes stop being so big. There we go, that's better. Armor decoration. Tunic tone, night stripes, mad motley, striking leechin, high elf fashion. that night white garrison gray boil black I don't know <laughs> I don't want my character to just look gray all the time So dumb. See what happens if I just make them all black, though. Just for now. 